Hi, Patty here from Wax Dreams again. I'm going to give a little tutorial today on how to do um, different kinds of flowers. So today I'm working on a 4 inch by 6 inch card and I'm going to start by melting green, a green crayon on my iron. Then I'm going to actually pick up my card and roll the iron, roll the paper on the iron. Turn it around. So you want, I want to cover the whole card. Feel free to add lots more. So I'm going to make some flowers come out of this little field here. Okay, so now we've got a grassy background. What I'm going to do is take red and just melt it. So I've got a drop of red here. I drop it right there, and I drop it right there. I'm going to put the tip of the iron into the drop, and we're going to make this into a flower. A tiny amount of the iron is actually on the paper. What I'm doing is just pushing the iron through the wax and turning the paper with each time I push forward, I turn the paper. And then go back to the center. I'll do the same with this one. And I'm going to make a bigger one in the foreground, so I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm just extending the iron further to make the leaves a little bit longer. It's going to be a bit of a snap dragon. Just pull the tail down. And I'm moving with the stylist. A little bit of green on this in the stylist. some details. Use some little leaves. You can also do that with the tip of the stylist. You can make little leaves by pushing. Now I want to put something in the center of these paintings, something that's going to So all I'm doing is putting a little bit of dark red in the stylus and just tapping at the center. Now this one, the stamens actually is a bit different in these because you can actually see that. Okay, so that's finished. I did three little flowers in the foreground. And I used my Kleenex. Polish that up and you have a fun little painting done making flowers with the tip of the iron. Two. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit on how to do some flowers today. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of blue on my iron and drag it across the top and make a nice blue sky. That's just done by just very lightly dragging. So this one I'm going to put some green in the foreground and then we're going to put some flowers in the field and I'll show you how to do those beautiful flowers. I'm just going to put some green on the iron. I can pick this up now. There we go. 
So you can see I have a little landscape beginning there. And I'm going to put some flowers in here now using just the tip of the iron. I'm going to push the iron through the wax and pull it back while I'm turning the paper in a circle. Now these are going to be snapdragons, so they're and the beautiful thing about this particular style is I can actually make one more in front. gives the painting a lot of depth. Snapdragons in the field. Just to finish this off, because if there's snapdragons in the front of the painting, there's probably by putting a little bit of this color into the background. And just to balance this out, I'm going to put one more snapdragon here. Again, this very simple process. Put a little bit of wax on the end of your iron. Push and pull. Push and pull. Push and pull. And then snapdragon. There's some simple little snapdragons done with. And I'll put some finishing touches on and then I'll show the finished product when we're done. Okay, I'm just going to add some finishing touches to this little landscape painting that I've done. So I'm going to use this nice little purple. And these are the stamens that come out of the center of the snapdragons. Just move the lines towards the center. All right, now what I'm going to do is just clean the stylist off and scratch out a little path coming from the back of this painting to the front of this painting. And in the sky, tiny drop. Have yourself some birds. Tiny drop. Play. There you have a nice little finished landscape with beautiful flowers.